All praises to the Most High Yeshua Jesus Christ. This is a message in regarding to the prevailing news that we're beginning to see. And the Holy Spirit is urging me to share this with you because it's all a huge lie. A lot of delusions that are presented to us in order to keep us into a position where we're controlled, where we're not living our life according to God's divine will. And so even if you refer to scripture, Exodus 14, 14, and I'll include it somewhere here in this video, and that is, despite what's happening, remain still because God has the authority over all things and it's always going to be worked out. But when you're operating within this world, within the society, it's easy to fall into the trap, into the manipulation of the worst is yet to come. And I get it, you want to be abreast, you want to know what's going on in the world, but tread lightly. Do not allow yourself to fall in alignment with that manipulation and gaslighting. Because if you focus more so on the good that you're seeing in your life, you're going to see more good. It only takes you to subconsciously agree with these things for your life to begin to see more negativity. And I also want to share too, there's some work by an amazing spiritual teacher. And I'll include this quote here, but the quote is basically just summarizing to not necessarily focus so much on the things that may elicit some type of fear in you. We have the ability to move beyond that. And more often than not, we suffer more so in imagination than in reality. A lot of things that we're suffering from is things that we're thinking about, fears, you know, different events that may have been harmful on some level. But just like there may be clouds presenting itself, there's always still sunlight behind that. So have the ability to focus more so on what it is that you want to see in your life because it's happening. Only the best is yet to come. And it may not even seem like something, um, I would say, it may not feel that comfortable saying it, especially if you're experiencing something that is not necessarily what it is that you see for your life. But sometimes you're allowed to experience certain things so that when you do get to that place of joy and peace and happiness, you appreciate it so much more. And so right now you have the decision to make. Either you can align yourself with the fear program, the propaganda of constantly having you in a sense of anxiety, fear, stagnant, or you can propel forward and know that with faith, God's word is sufficient and you're gonna be able to experience the best to come, not the worst to come like the media tries to project. And I also want to share, too, one other thing, just a moment, and that is James 1, 2, and 4. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not liking anything. And so when you begin to mature emotionally, spiritually, you begin to see that the only reason why certain things are put out to the masses is to keep you into a position where you could be at their will so that you can become a servant. It is also a form of idol idolatry because you're looking to these things as your answer. Where is your faith? And I'm saying this because I've been there as well, but you can move beyond that and move into a space of faith. And also I wanna go ahead and say, in short, that I thank all of you that have been running my numbers up, supporting my platform, allowing this platform to grow so that this ministry can also be shared internationally. And I'm grateful and also understanding too that it's free 99. It don't cost anything for you to support. So I'm grateful for those of you that have taken it upon yourself to just simply like and subscribe and um, hit that white thumbs up thumbs up so that this these messages can get more so out there in my algorithm okay I really really appreciate it because there definitely needs to be more messages of harmony of hope of faith opposed to 
the regurgitation of doom and gloom and defeatism. The shift more so into optimism so that we can actually experience the God given gifts that he has given us. Even when it comes to being grateful, just simple things, being grateful for your ability to be able to walk, your ability to be able to talk, your ability to be able to be a functioning individual. Those are blessings. And sometimes we have so much that we are wealthy with. We just chalk it up to um, what the world puts out there as true worth and value in those material possessions. Yes, God wants us to have nice things, but when you begin to appreciate the wealth and abundance that you have naturally without all these extra things that may be man-made, then that is tapping into true wealth and also understanding that the best is yet to come. It's just right around the corner. And you begin to experience that by being grateful for what it is you have in the here and now. Until next time, definitely by Pirate Thrive. I am Lotus of Judah. I love you.